So here we are at the main products page and now I want to talk to you about categories and tags. So let's first of all, I'm going to open these up in uh, open one up in a new tab and one up in this tab. And products and ca t categories and tags are very similar. Um, <clears throat> in the fact that category is a way that you can categorize products. And a nice thing about a product category is you can actually have a product category up here as a menu item if you want to. Um, Product categories can be used to provide search functionality for product searches where people can drill things down, as a matter of fact. Um, so product categories can be extremely useful and you'll always want to put a product into some category. If not, it'll go into an uncategorized category. So you want to put it into some category. So here, let's just say, um, here I'll just put the category of paintings is all I want to do. Now, you could add a description to the category. It's not actually necessary. Um, it really does very little in the system. You can, uh, the slug is the URL friendly version when it's going to appear up here if we were going to go to cornerstoneheppner.com slash paintings or whatever we wanted the slug to appear so we could get a page that would show nothing but paintings. That's what this, but you don't have to worry about that. This will automatically populate this with the next available URL friendly slug in the system. If this had a parent category, like if this was a parent category of featured, we could also put that in there. And once again, the reason for that would be if we were using a, a, a drill down hierarchy uh, and we wanted to be able to drill down into certain products uh, via different product categories, we could do that by giving uh, the product category uh, a parent. And you can have uh, subcategories and subcategories and subcategories so just simply by defining what the parent item is. So you can actually get a, a huge labyrinth of categories here if you want to. And you can also um, add a thumbnail image up here and um, if you, um, if we were using like a, if we wanted us to create like a gigantic super menu down here and you wanted, uh, and you wanted, uh, different little pictures to show up for the, uh, product categories, it would pull from this particular thumbnail right here. The only thing required is that you give it a name. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. And when you add that, then up here, you'll now see that we have paintings added in as a product category. And if I were to click on the add product screen, and bring it up, you'll see that now I have paintings in here. And I can come down here actually while I'm in the new product screen. And uh, here we have paintings, let's say uh, vases. Okay, and uh, I just click add new product category. And that's going to add that here and it's automatically going to select it. And now if I come over to product categories, and I refresh over here, you're going to notice that now I have vases included in a product category. So you'll see these two features right here, this add new product category and the product category screen does the exact same thing, but you'll notice the only thing it asks here, is there a product category? Is there a parent category? Because that's very relevant. And uh, what's the name? Because those are the only two things that are needed um, to create a product category. And if you give it a parent and none, it just makes it as a, as a, uh, a base level, the, the first level. There isn't any hierarchy to it at all. So tags. Um, let's talk about tags. So what do product tags do? Product tags are primarily used for people when they search for stuff is what it is. This is a way to, to help the system search and, and people to narrow down. Um, you know, we could have uh, paintings, but uh, in under paintings, let's say, um, we could tag that with watercolor. And then maybe I'd, we'd also put in um, oil for oil paintings. And then if we were if we were in a product, we were adding a new product, I could come down here and I could begin to, let's, uh, let's, let's, update this let's update this product page I'm just going to give the product a name of test product here and then quick SKU of 1009 and a price of $50 okay I'm gonna go ahead and publish it and oh, I'm gonna change that from vases to paintings sorry get it out of feature, don't want it on the front page, great. So okay, so now I've got that all nice and updated, I'm going to come down to product tags, and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to start to type in a product tag. And all of a sudden there I get this thing that says watercolor. If I were to begin to type in oil, I would get this thing that said oil and allow me to select that tag. That's what that does, but watch this. I'm going to type in acrylic. I didn't enter in acrylic but I can just click add and add acrylic anyway. So this is a nice way to input your most commonly used tags, which is great. That's good to have in the system. It'll, it'll give you that little pop-up right there so you can just click real quick. But you can also just manually add them in. 
it doesn't matter and you can add in more than one just separating the tags with different commas I could have just typed in I could have just added in oil when I click that you'll notice it'll automatically put a comma in there and then I can just type in if I wanted to type in up oh, backspace if I want to type in watercolor I type that in I get watercolor I click add and it's gonna add those if I don't want them there well no I don't want watercolor and oil this is just an acrylic painting I click them and they go away simple as that so that is a uh, that's where product categories and tags come into play when people are out here and they and they type in and they're and they're looking for stuff. You know, this is a birdhouse. I'm going to type in bird, which is search our site, and of course they get decorative birdhouse and birdhouses. And these are these are the these are how search things come up. And once again, we'll be as time goes on, we're going to be um, be uh, restyling these. Okay, just to let you know, it's a little it's a little bold right now, so <laughs> we'll, we'll restyle the search function there. But this is just a way for, um, like I said, this is just a way for the system to reference information, and it references it in two ways: categories, where you can create categories in a hierarchy of different categories within there, and then tags, which are just a way for you to just tag on um, information about the product is all um, a way for the system to when people search that tag will come in will will bring that product up in their search results and that's what that's for so that is categories and tags in the system um, if you do not want uh, certain categories like we can delete these it's just a quick delete that's all you do so I'll come down here and I'll delete these paintings come over here into product tags and I can delete watercolor and delete oil now you notice when I delete those they're just gone I, they're not in the trash. They don't move to trash. They just delete. And they don't ask me, do you want to delete us? They just delete. So remember that. Very important in the system. So that is uh, products and tags, how you create them and how you delete them.